Hey, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Release with Shauna Elise and insert title here. Okay, so today I am wearing, you can barely see it. Let's see if I stand up on my couch if you can see it. There we go. So it's just like a little sweater dress that has like this, you know, like the little part, cinch part for the sweater. It's just a little sweater dress. Hopefully I can get some photos in it. But it's just a sweater dress. My hair is in box braids. I did box braids. Anyone who knows me, I really do not like putting, I probably should do my edges, but I will. Um, I do not like putting braids in my hair. I feel like I like a kid, but I like these. They're pretty cool. Um, and then I'm also wearing these little elephant, you guys know I love elephants, these little elephant orange earrings. And if I was actually walking out of my house today, I probably would have paired these with my over the knee um, black boots. They're like faux suede boots and did a little black purse with it. Um, but I'm not, I'm in my house recording for you guys. So I'm barefoot, barefoot Contessa. Okay, anyway, um, so. Happy 2019. Welcome to 2019. How you doing 2019? <laughs> um, I just did two videos, one on New Year, New You. Another one was my New Year's resolution goals. And I want to know what you guys' New Year's resolution goals are. And then this video is my fashion video. I will be doing three videos a week. One focusing on goals, one focusing on fashion, and one focusing on self-love. The reason why I want to do these three themes is because I am setting goals for myself that are going to go as my New Year's resolution, investing in my business, investing in time spent with you guys, educating you guys on what I'm doing, explaining the learning experiences that I'm going through, and just talking to y'all. I mean, that's what we're here for. But then also using that to bleed into my Instagram and create a business and a following so then that way I can eventually have my own boutique and my own brand started so you don't have me on social media make sure you follow me Shauna West for my Facebook and release the boutique at Instagram okay so make sure you follow my social media if you're not already and welcome back so before i get into this topic of the video i did buy some things from boohoo so like again this dress i love this dress i would even hike it up and just wear it like as a sweater too you can't see what i'm doing good things i have no pants on but um i would hike it up and just wear it as a sweater too um with some jeans um i really love it it's really great quality um, but i also bought some other things and i'll show you those so this boohoo bag was different. I will do a try. Not that. I will do a try on haul for you guys um, for this boohoo. I'll do it this week. Um, but I have to send some stuff back. They fit. I just didn't like the way they fit me. Um, like just the look of it for me. Like just because it fits doesn't mean that you need to wear it. Just because it fits does not mean you need to wear it just because they make it in your size does not mean it's made for you okay okay i think that is the biggest thing that people need to understand there are so many people who have better shapes, well, I feel, in my opinion, than I do, and you look bigger than me because of what you're choosing to put on. Like, this one is not as flattering to my size because it does bag out on my waist, which my waist is smaller, but I do like the fact that it shows my legs, so it still gives me some shape, and it does, it does fit around my hip area, so it still gives me some shape, but everything that is made is not made for you. And just because you like it and it came in your size doesn't mean it's good for you. Let's just talk about that. But I did get this little t-shirt dress. It's a striped t-shirt dress. It looks like it's um, 
green and black and like burgundy stripes in it. But it's a cute little t-shirt dress. It'll just go into the spring with me too. So I'll probably wear it like um, over the knee boots um, for the rest of winter. And then um, going into spring, I'll probably put like some gladiator sandals and stuff with it. One of my little duster vest with it. You guys know I love my duster vest if you know me. Um, this one is a little black t-shirt dress. It's kind of see-through, but the right undergarments, it'll be fine. This one, I kind of make it, it, this one kind of makes me feel like weird in it. I might want to belt it. I really don't like belting a t-shirt dress though, but I might want to belt it. It's just because in, it fits my bust and everything, but it doesn't like lay flat against my waist and that kind of bothers me. Um... I ordered everything and I, oh, don't let me lie to you because some things I didn't get. Right, the black dress is a 16 and then the striped dress is a 14. I kind of thought maybe I should have got the black dress in a 14, but I think because it is um, kind of shorter than the other dress, I'm glad I didn't. Then I got these jeans. But this part of the jean area is like really high on me. They fit really nice, but this part, it just makes my crotch area look big. So I'm actually sending these back. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, this is so long. And they're nice shoes. They're super stretchy and they fit really good. I kind of wish I would have gotten a 14 in them. Uh, no, I did get a 14 in them. So maybe I should have gotten a 12 in them. I might like Boohoo after all, huh? Uh, maybe I should have gotten a 12 in them. I feel like they were going to fit real, they fit really good. But I feel like once they give on me, I'm going to get that diaper butt in them. And y'all know that's not cute. Um, I also got this, just a cute, just everyday t-shirt. I wear it with some jeans and like my faux leather jacket and tie the bottom part like in a knot. Um... And then I got that white dress that I said I was keeping, but I'm not keeping. I've been meaning to send it back, and I haven't sent it back yet. But I got it in black, and for some reason in black, it's shorter. It's the same exact size and everything, same exact dress, but in black, it's shorter. So I'm sending that back for sure, and the white one back, because I don't think I'm ever going to wear the white one. But this video today is about labels. I don't do well with labels. No, I do well with labels. I like labels. I believe in certain brands. I think certain brands, um, they have a quality behind their label, which is why you're paying for it. You're not just paying for the name of the label, but you're paying for the quality of it. But I'm not, you know, I can wear a pair of $150, $200 pants and wear a $3 top. Like, I think as women, we do get to have that that fun and that um, that ability more so than men do. And still look cute but I really don't focus in on labels if I'm gonna spend a price a high price tag on something it's going to be something that it's because of the quality of it that I know it's going to last me years it's gonna be a great staple piece of my wardrobe I'm not big on trends um, I really like basic stuff um, and then I like to do like a fun shoe with it or layering pieces with it and don't get me wrong I'm not scared of prints I do not shy away from prints but I try to use my investment pieces to not be the prints or the, um, the crazier stuff. It's my pieces that are going to be great investment pieces because they're gonna carry with me. Um, no matter what trend is happening or no matter what look is going on, they'll, they'll transition into my wardrobe very well. Well, I'm not big on brands. You won't hear me focus in on a lot of brands um, and the labels and all that stuff is because I think it's a hype behind it. I think that, you know, you're either following a trend or someone else is wearing it or I want to wear this because this person has it on. I'm not that type of person. I really believe that your fashion and your style should be up to you. I think that you should define who you are and what you want to look like. And then through that, make it flattering to your body type. I think that's the only thing that we really need to focus on is that we're flattering to our body styles. So then that way we look clean and we look well kept and we look presentable. Um... I'm not a big person on, you know, I, 
Louis Vuitton shoes. I own not one pair and not because I dislike Louis Vuitton. I don't think that their shoes are ugly. I think that their shoes are really cute. But I also know that they're not comfortable and I'm not gonna go spend that amount of money on a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes when I honestly can go probably buy like seven or 18 pairs of something else a whole lot cheaper and still feel as cute in them. Like that red bottom doesn't sell it for me. But then you have the quality. Louis Vuitton shoes will last you a very long time. Um, so I don't, I don't knock people who buy brand names or invest into those dollar, those dollar amount of things that have a label name behind it, but a quality behind it. Um, I don't knock that. I am more so saying like the trend of things, you know, um, I am not the type of person to say, oh, Kim Kardashian is wearing a uh, champion. So now I'm going to go wear champion. Like now all of a sudden the price tag, you was finding that stuff at Walmart. And now all of a sudden the price tag on that is super high because you allowed that to become the trend. And that label is now skyrocketed again because of that. It's amazing and it's great. And you know, the hype is what hopefully will get me where I want to be eventually. Hopefully somebody's going to hop on my hype train and want to ride it out with me. So I'm not denying the hype. It's just not for me. Um, you won't hear me talk about a lot of like big label brands when I'm dressing people. I'm also going to, I'm more so going to show you the alternative route um, of how to get something still as nice as what you probably saw for 200 300 but a similar version of it that's still good quality but not that price point you're not paying for that label being on the ticket because i'm also not the type of person who wants someone's brand and name all over me um so if i am buying quality that's all i'm paying for if i'm buying the name is that tag to be in my clothing and who sees that tag no one sees that tag unless i mean they take your clothes off right in your closet, but <laughs> no one sees that tag. So you're paying for something just to be stuck inside of you in your clothing because you want that tight, that name. And sometimes it's crap and sometimes it's not good quality. So I'm not big on brands and falling into that hype. I think that when you are thinking about your style and you're focusing on what you want to bring into your wardrobe. If you are big on trends, I think that you should invest in pieces that are stapled for your wardrobe and feed those trend pieces in, but not focusing on trend pieces that are of, you know, higher brand names. I'm trying not to shoot out brand names because I don't want anyone to think that I dislike brand those brands. It's just that some things I won't buy just because it's a hype, I feel like. It's not really a brand, um, but, and anyway, it's really a brand, I'm contradicting myself. It's not the quality, it's just the brand and we're buying it because you know, you're know you spending X amount of dollars on Kim Kardashian makeup, for instance, because you're buying her name. I believe that if you're going to buy it, you need to say, oh, she's really good at matching my skin tone. I am super allergic to things, so I don't break out from her makeup. Um, the way it fits my skin, the way it lays on my skin. This is why I'm buying this this item. I think that when we think about stuff, we shouldn't buy it in for the hype of it. We should buy it in because of the quality that we're going to get from it. Do not get me wrong. You will find me on ring at Rainbow when I'm walking into Walmart and I look over and I see Rainbow. You will catch me at Rainbow buying a little $3 throwaway top, but I treat those items as such. Sometimes I see something cute. Something trendy. Here in Vegas, we have First Fridays. It's a, um, a art show that happens um, downtown, and then it transitions into bar hopping and um, just a little fun. Like a lot of locals come, a lot of tourists are still there too, and it's just like a lot of bar hopping and just hanging out. And sometimes I find little like cute things I probably wouldn't wear again, but I would wear for you know the purpose of me going downtown or you know something funny on my shirt or something you know lacy that throw a bra underneath and just wear it, you know, with some high-waisted jeans or something like that, that I probably will find there and you will catch me. And I will start doing hauls on my little things you will catch me buying at Rainbow. <laughs> um, but I also know what I'm getting. And if I happen to wash it and it destroys, I know I bought that because it was for a look. It was for something that I just wanted to achieve for that night. Now, if I achieve that look with that piece and I think, damn, I like that look for my wardrobe, 
then I will go purchase a quality piece that is similar to that item, but it's gonna be of quality and it's gonna cost me a little bit more money. That's what I'm saying. When you are buying pieces, make sure you're not following a trend. If it's something that's going to end up being a wardrobe piece for you, then that's when you invest in the quality of it. I'm not saying that everything that you buy, you need to buy it out first in a, a cheap version of it and then go out and buy a more expensive version of it because then you're wasting money. I'm saying that that has been something that I have proved to found for me, works for me, that if I buy something that I'm like, oh, I just like this because it's a hype right now and everyone looks cute in it, but I'm not going to invest in it. Then I'm like, I actually like it for me. Then I will find the quality piece of that hype item and put that into my wardrobe. So... Don't fall into the labels. You gotta be like these guys, like when it comes to labels, like, mm -mm. oh, I can't do labels. I can't do labels. <laughs> I gotta go for quality. And when you go for quality, you go for great pieces in your wardrobe. So thank you for watching Release with Shauna Elise. Try on haul for my Boohoo stuff coming soon. I love you guys and thank you for following me. Welcome to 2019, and I wish you guys the best year ever. Stay with me. There's more to come. Bye.